you know, like I said before in dental school, I didn't want to do it, and Big Bob made it seem so easy, and uh, it was just like, made it fun, and so it just it gave me another opportunity to offer something different to my patients, so. I took his one-week class in 1985, which covered the entire system from A to Z in the five days to see if I would like his style of teaching and decided after that portion of it that I would take his full course, his full one-year course, followed by the monitor. And it was, it was kind of interesting because the, the people in the class, there was a lot of them that had taken other courses. They had taken uh, the leading lecturers at the time. And I'd ask them, well, well, why are you here? And they'd say, well, we heard that Big Bob puts it together. It's kind of like a cookbook. If you do this, then you do that, then you do this. And it discovered that, that Bob taught orthodontics very similar to what it takes to fly a plane. You have a series of checklists, and each system follows the next system. So the, the advantage of his class was that he put it together like a cookbook. There wasn't a hit and miss this, that, and the other. Uh, if you do this, the next time you do that the next time you do this, then the next time you do that. Uh, of course, being early in it, you have a tendency to think that if you're not providing yourself with all the education that's available, that you're selling yourself and your patients short. So, of course, I took courses from other people at the same time, but after five or six years, you discovered that the only system that you need to know is the system that Bob teaches. Uh, his teaching was interesting in that that he would go around and take the courses, he would go back to his office, practice it in his office, and if it worked after three or four years, he would then teach it to us students. Um, my mother had passed away and I needed a challenge and I hated ortho in school and they promised Dr. Garrity would keep it simple and cookbook fashion and, and he lived up to his reputation. Um, I actually went to the office the other day and didn't have my book with me and I needed to look up some things and I got online and looked up all the stuff I needed to know so you know you wherever you're at you have access to the materials so it's really nice. Number one you can do it anywhere <laughs> without having to travel and you know without um, having to take off time from work and the other thing is for me it helps like say something like the MDA or something that you kinda forgot that you hadn't done for a while you can go back on there and review um, you know the course uh, for because like I said I took the original course eight years ago so it's handy to be able to go back on the line and be able to review you know that with my notes that I took. My favorite aspect of the online program I think is the fact that all the information is right there and you have a community that you can get with other doctors that have taken the class and asked them questions and they can answer it. You have access to people that are teaching the class they can answer your questions. So you just have a whole bunch of information in one location. I would recommend doing the, the ortho course even with the economy like it is because I think it's with ortho, it's the best thing to recession proof our, our practices today because now I'm doing less veneer work because mom will turn down the veneers, but if a uh, junior needs braces, she's going to find a way to pay for the braces. I would actually say it's, uh, it really has exceeded my expectations. Um, I've learned a lot more. It's been a, a lot more comprehensive than I expected. Um, a lot of the weekend courses that you get is just a a quick pitch and you're ready to go and this course they uh, they did it the right way started out teaching you how to do it and um, how to select your cases how to do your records and uh, I feel like they really I, I feel like I became a much better dentist from taking the course. I bring cases back and just to show him and give him positive feedback of what he was teaching us and how what he's teaching you know there's a lot of lectures out there that teach a lot of different systems that work fine in their hands, but not necessarily in the hands of the students that are doing the work. So I wanted to show him actual cases that I did based on his entire teaching. And you know, people would come up to me afterwards and go, no, how did you really do that? How did you really accomplish that? And I'd say, whatever I do is what Big Bob teaches.